What's going on? It's Casey from CaseyDasounds.com. So today's video is about how often you should hit up a producer or an artist to collab or to let them know that you make beats. And it's a question I got off of Instagram, which says, how often and in what way should I re should a relatively new producer how often and in what way should a relatively new producer be hitting up artists slash other producers with their beats and offers for collabs? Struggle with networking and I can't gauge when I'm being annoying slash spammy and I don't want to make the mistake of landing on someone's mute list. Yes, them mute lists. Godsend. <laughs> so my answer to that question is kind of like the Gary V strategy. Hit up as many artists as you can, as many producers as you can a day. If you're doing two a day, that's... 10 a week that's 10 a week based on a five day week but if you're having no days off then that's going to be 14 um, and that's just with two people do you know what i'm saying so yeah hit up as many as you want you're not going to get reply from everyone because you might not be on the same level you might you, they might not like your music or you're just hitting them up at, at the wrong time uh, don't take it personal just keep it moving but the ones that you do get reply from just build a rapport build it up the same way you would as if you was talking to someone in the street or in person like you wouldn't just hit up someone in the street and be like I make beats. Do you want to buy some? It's not going to work, is it? It's not going to happen. Um, so just treat them, treat them like humans. Just treat them like normal. Don't overdo it. Don't act. Just be true to yourself. Be authentic. People can see through when you're not being authentic. So just be yourself. Don't focus too much on wanting to work with this one. This one artist. There's a few out there that you can that you will gel with, that you will get on with, and it will work out. So don't get too hung up on not getting no replies. How to gauge if you're being spammy and if you're overdoing it? I think you can kind of tell at a point. Well, I, I can tell when I'm being a bit a bit too pushy. I'm an intense type of person. That's just that's how I am. That's, that's how I am, I hate when people say that. Yeah, I'm quite intense and passionate, but I can kind of gauge when I'm being a bit too much, I'm answering too many questions or I'm maybe talking too much. So you kind of back off. It's like a relationship, isn't it, really? You kind of know, you feel, you should know when you're, you're doing a bit too much. That's, a, that's like kind of being self-aware and knowing yourself as a person, what you like and how the other person might be feeling in the way that you're, you're coming across. It's, that's something that you need to work on for yourself. Everyone's different. Some people can't tell. <laughs> This is how it is. <laughs> Let me read the question again, because I'm sure I missed something. Yeah, that, that mute list. I've had to put a, a few people on that mute list. I don't know about you, but I get hit up with, by graphic designers. I'm not just saying it's, it's only graphic designers that do this, but the conversation will just start off with, do you need cover up? I'm like, yeah, what's happening? How you doing? Like normal conversation. Their reply will be, so do you want to work? Here's my rates. And I'm like, nah, mute doesn't work like that for me. I don't really like when people are too pushy. My back goes up and I just, I'm just like, no, I'm not interested. When I, the way that I see them go wrong, I've kind of talked that on board and thought, that's not how I want to do business. That's, that's not how I want to do things. So if you know, if you've been hit up by certain people and, it, and you're straight away thinking, nah, I don't really like how they're coming across, then maybe implement that in your own way of doing things. It's a learning process. Like I said, you're gonna gel with some people and you're not gonna gel with others. So you've got to try and, you've just got to get to a point where you, you know how to, to how to carry yourself in your conversation, gauge if you're coming across too spammy. If the conversation is one-sided, then it's probably time to cut that one off and then on to the next one. But yeah, just build it up your rapport like you would normally with people. Check in every now and again, say they're getting on with their beats, with their music. And yeah, in time, you would build a healthy relationship, friendship, rapport with that person. Hit me up on Instagram if you've got any questions. I don't always see the comments on YouTube. I miss, I've miss, i missed loads. Um, if you've hit me up with a question before and I haven't done it, feel free to hit me up again. If this video's helped at all, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching.